Freedom for All. Radio for All. You are now live with the Humble Prince on Sahara FM Radio. Yeah. Yep, we're back, live with the Humble Prince on Sahara FM Radio. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Of course, I've been joined by my co-host extraordinaire, Aisha Diori, who is the events, yeah, events manager. You always mess up my title. I didn't, what did I say? I didn't you say planner. Say events planner yeah. No, I said the first time I said planner was on purpose, man. I know you, you forgot to say manager. Vibe Land presents Basket Mouth. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what did you say, Bas- Basket Mouth? Basket Mouth. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So Aisha, um, how, how you doing? You having a good time so far? I'm having a good time. I didn't have it. I don't have any water. I don't have no juice. I just gave no you water. water. I just gave you water. Where you? Where you do give you? me water in a small cup. What do you think you at? Um, <laughs> NBC Studios. <laughs> yes, NBC Studios. <laughs> anyway, right now we're joined by another um, Miss. Nigeria USA beauty pageant um, contestant, and um, she's joining us all the way from Texas, and she's representing Abuja State. And Abuja. Yeah, we have Hadessa Ade on the um, by your Skype. Hadessa, you there? Hello, yes, I'm here. Hi, Hadessa, how are you Hi. doing? You look gorgeous. Yes, doing great, thank you. All right. It's so nice to hear you guys. Unfortunately, I can't see you guys, but I'm glad you guys can see me and hear me. Yes, yeah, you we can. Get, yeah, we get to see you. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Hadassa Adedimeji, and people don't usually get my name right, but it's Hadassa, and I think the lady with you said it right, so I'm glad. Yay. Yay. <laughs> well, and, women are always right. I'm glad you know. Right. I'm glad you. I'm glad you realized that. No, oh, well, been married 11 years. Is uh, I better know that. So, <laughs> even okay, if I'm not you. right, yeah. you admitting you're married now? Yeah. Hey, go ahead, Odessa. <laughs> well, um, I'm 21 years old, All and right. um, I am graduating. I'm actually working on my bachelor's of um, art in psychology. Yes. I want to be a family therapist and um, a marriage counselor with that. So hopefully, by God's grace, this December, I'm going to graduate. And um, I'm in Texas, Dallas, Texas, and um, I'm competing for the Miss Nigeria USA 2015. Fantastic. Nice. I wish you all the best as becoming a marriage counselor. You're going to have a lot of work. So you have a lot of business a lot of business especially, of the way, business especially the way marriage are going this this year uh, um aisha go ahead so what yeah. made you want to become a um, miss nigeria usa contestant um i really liked the a motive that was beyond miss nigeria usa yeah. miss nigeria usa wasn't just only for like beauty pageants but he it also wanted to focus on women empowerment which is something i've been working on because my parents are pastors and missionaries in the ivory coast oh. and um they have an orphanage over there and so i know what it is to like talk about empowerment especially when you're talking with young girls who are being abused and you're trying to make something like a brighter day in their lives and impact their lives yeah. so um i like the um i guess the motive that was beyond miss nigeria usa so it made me tick and a little bit and also i have to say that i'm really interested in like talking about pageant beauties and see how women can not only use their um i guess physical um um traits not only for like beauty stuff and displaying but also use that to like empower other women and be like, hey, you're pretty, but you can be only smart too, you know? Exactly. So um, I like the motive that was beyond Miss Nigeria USA, which I think we click with. That's why I'm applying for that. Yeah, Ooh, fantastic, man. Fantastic. Now, you know, I've been speaking to a lot of contestants, and you guys, I got to say, spot man. Spot on. Yeah, you guys are spot on, like well prepared, well uh, well cultured, you know, trained and everything. So I think that's good. It's the, 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 the contest is going to be very, very interesting, man. It's going to be a lot yes. of competition. Yeah. I believe, I think it is. I think also because most of the girls are also like in line with the motive that's beyond Miss Nigeria USA. Yeah. It's yeah. not just only about the beauty thing, but it's about what we're going to do for these girls and young women back home and ladies who are trying to inspire and do something out of their lives. So I think when you have that option and that motive, you're just ready to get it, you know? So I guess that's, that's good, fun. man. I, you know, I like that these girls are all trying to be role models. Yes, that's the I same like that. thing I've been trying to do. You know, I'm a, yeah, I'm a role, role model. I'm a role model myself, so um, I can encourage you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, Hadessa, let me ask you a question. I've been asking all the contestants this. Um, where do you see yourself um, 10 years from now? Um, from 
tenure from the Isles, I'm really, I really hope that I'm gonna, by God's grace, I think that I'm gonna have my own um, license in counseling, and right. I'll right. have my own office where I can have people coming in and me trying to like counsel them. I'm not saying I'm gonna make their days better. I'm pretty sure with the requirements that I have and God's help, I'll be able to do that. And um, married, I don't know with kids. I'm not sure yet, but um, this is one of my main goals: have a PhD and have a master's in counseling and having people talking to you about um, their issues and how I can help them psychologically. So yes. Yeah, this girl's are so focused, man. Don't worry, you don't. You can wait on the kids. Miss Ondo will help you have um you have some more kids. <laughs> she said she wanted four or five kids. <laughs> yeah. All right, should go ahead, man. So we're are you from Abuja? Um, what part of, are you? Um, are you from Abuja? Um, my parents, the one thing about the Miss Nigeria USA, which I actually like, is that we're not representing our states. Okay. We're saying that Nigeria should not be divided. Like, I could be from Lagos and I'm representing Abuja. I like you that. You can be from another state and representing another state. Yeah. Not, it's not about, oh, I'm from here, oh, I'm, Yor I'm Yoruba, I'm Igbo or anything. No, it's just you're trying to, like, unify Nigeria. So I'm representing Abuja, but I'm not from Abuja. My parents are, um, my dad is from um, Ibadan and my mom is from Oshogo. So okay. since I grew up in the Ivory Coast, I would say I'm from those both states. But um, no, I'm not from Abuja to answer your question. But oh, I'm really okay. glad that I'm representing such a state. I think it's amazing because you know what, that's one thing that happens in Nigeria. We have the divide yeah. with the North and the South and all the things that are going on. And I think us doing this Miss Nigeria USA pageant and showcasing the fact that we are all one country, no matter if we are from the exactly. North, the South, the East, the West. But we are one country and represent in one country. And I think that's a great great you know answer that you just you know it was really really I what think so we too, need man. spot we're all, on yeah we're all unified we're all we're all one and this is definitely embracing that concept I, I really really like that so uh one last question uh what does winning the miss ti the title of miss nigeria usa what would it mean to you if you win I believe that in this in today's world unfortunately like to make an impact you need to have a certain um, popularity behind your name. Yep. I know it might be sad because some people are trying to work their butts off there and they're doing something, but they're not really known because we just don't know them. They're not popular, but they're doing good things. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like in today's world, in order for people to hear you, you have to be somebody. Yeah. You can get a master's, you can do this, but no people need to hear about you and know you. And Nigeria, um, Miss Nigeria USA will give me a title that's gonna like postpone, I guess, boost me to be heard and um, gather the help that's needed to make, um, to give a brighter future to young women and empower young women back home. So um, I'm gonna use that title to like, um, to combine that, that title with my vision of like empowering women. So that's why I'm actually competing for Miss Nigeria USA and I believe that that title is really gonna help me. This is why I say the young should rule the land Definitely. because yes. they're the movers and shakers yes. and they know what to do. They already know that it's really about getting that notoriety. Look at what yeah. she just said. And she's right. It's she's really, on point. Very she's on astute. point. This is our yeah. leaders that are coming up and we should let them really lead. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Nick, please, let's give this beautiful young lady a round of right. applause. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. Yeah, you're amazing. Yeah, definitely. So, um, sorry, one last question. Give us an exclusive about yourself, something nobody knows about you, something, something people don't know about you. A secret quirk, a secret tidbit, a yeah. secret something that's going to make everybody like, oh, my God, not her, not Miss Abuja. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, oh, gosh. I, oh, gosh, you guys are putting me on the spot. Oh, yeah, we well, have we got to. to. We have to. <laughs> We got to see the vulnerable uh, side of our contestants, right? Um, I guess one thing, if I have to be honest, and you guys want me to say, mm -hmm. I've never been in like a very relationship. I'm okay. 21 and I've never like dated or anything. Oh, and that's wow. Oh, that means you're going to get a lot of marriage proposals. Don't put your uh, Instagram on you. He's going to marry you, give you dowry, everything. You ain't never been with... Oh, okay. Fantastic. So she's still... Uh, let me stop. She's anyway. <laughs> she's a... focusing on the books. Yes. <laughs> Adessa, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we wish you all the thank best on the day. Thank Congratulations. you for having me. Congratulations.
Thank you so much. <laughs> Great. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Fantastic. So we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we have the callback segment with the critically acclaimed and renowned and the superstar herself, Adela Fire. Adela. Yeah, she's going to be joining us for um, the callback segment. And we'd like to hear from you guys. Please, the number to call is 917-284-9811. And we're talking about domestic violence. There's a story out there recently uh, where this woman killed her husband because she suspected him of, um, she allegedly said he was cheating and abusing her. We want to talk about that. I got some stories about, you know, I got some um, inside, I got like mm -hmm. an inside story about that whole situation. So it's kind of conflicting the police report. So we're going to talk about that. Also, uh, we sent Boko Haram, you know, let's uh, round of applause to the Nigerian army. They rescued some women. Um, Aisha was just saying there were about 2,000 women that were kidnapped, mm -hmm. but you know, they rescued about 200 women. 200 of them, unfortunately, it wasn't the Shabbat girls, but uh, uh, we still want to talk about that situation. And also, I don't know if you guys heard that um, Buhari uh, kind of banned uh, AIT from reporting on him. Um, I'm getting mixed stories about that, too, but um, we're going to talk about that. Uh, we'd like to hear from you guys. Number to call is 917-284-9811. Live with the Humble Prince, and we'll be right back. We like the breeze, float straight out of our lids. Them, they got boo bodies, hard rock Brooklyn kids. Us floor rush when the DJ booming classics. You think the crew on the fattest hip-hop record. Touch the kinks and sinks into the sounds. She frequents deep, fatter joints called undergrounds. Our funk zooms like you hit the Mary Jane. They flock to booms, man, boogie had to change. Who freaks the clips with mad amount percussion? Where kinky hair goes to unthought of dimensions? Why is it so fly? Cause hip hop kept some drama. When butterfly rock the light. Yo, it's your boy, Mr. Lumentin, a.k.a. Mr. Naughty, and you're watching Sahara TV, everything Africa, and keep it locked. Ah. I'm from AKT State. <laughs> Did you know what? Did you know what? 